Welcome Tom Kim into the interview room, making his debut appearance at the Shriners Children's Open. Tom, you just came off the golf course. If we can get some of uh, your impressions on the golf course and then also your expectations for the week. Um, I think it's a great golf course for me. Um, it's a great setup. Um, I really like the way it's you know, designed and it kind of suits my eye a little bit. So I'm really excited to be here. And I was actually here last year in Vegas. I didn't play this event, but I was here during that week and I remember wanting to play and um, I'm excited to finally be able to play here this week. Making your third tour start since winning the Wyndham Championship. If you can just take us, sort of recap your rookie season and then also your expectations for this year. I mean, I feel like I'm a rookie now, so, um, but it's, it's been a crazy few months uh, looking back, but I'm really excited to have this f uh, first full season and hopefully, you know, play, have, have a better year than I did last season, so I'm really excited. And before we open it up to questions, uh, just coming off of your appearance at the President's Cup, if we can get you to talk a little bit about what that, that experience was like. It was, it was absolutely insane. I had so much fun, and I've never really experienced that big of team camaraderie before, and I can see why everyone wants to play in these team events, and I can't wait to have another try at it. Okay, we'll open it up to uh, questions. We'll Greg, and then we'll go to Ben. Hey, Tom. Um, curious, as a winner on the tour, you can pretty much set your own schedule already. Why did you decide to play this event? Uh, this event? Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, I just, it's, I, I'm very fresh and I want to play as much as I can and I, I wasn't going to do anything. What am, I, I was probably going to go home and practice so I, I, I would love to come out here and play tournaments and um, it's a great, it's a great stretch for me. And I'm going to Japan next week and playing at the CJ. So, um, actually, when the season, when I saw it, like I wanted to play Vegas. I think it's a great spot, and the course kind of suits my game. So, it was it's kind of happened natural for me. But picking a schedule for me still means pl trying to play as much as I can. So, yeah. H had you played the course before this week? No, I've not. This was the first time. And. How do you feel about a course that is considered one of the easier courses on tour where you know you have to make a lot of birdies if you want to, if you want to do well? Yeah, it's, um, I could definitely see that. I only played 9-9, nine, nine, unfortunately, because just the way my body was, my body was at. But um, just playing 9-9, nine, nine, I could see why a lot of guys are playing well here. And, um, you really got to keep it. You got to really keep up with the guys here. So uh, it's going to be fun. All right, let's go to Todd and then we'll go to Ben. I had a question about your infamous putt now at the President's Cup and you started the early walk and all that stuff. Take us through like your emotions of when you hit it and when it fell. And then also I'm curious, have you gone back and have you watched it? And what did, what's your reaction when you see yourself reacting like that? It's, uh, I can remember every single moment of me walking up to that green and looking at that putt uh, seeing my whole team there I was just looking down and thinking to myself that man I would I want this putt to go in more than anything in the world because I'm just not playing for myself I'm playing for everyone on that team and with where we were at on Saturday uh, knowing that one two points is just a huge difference and once I hit that putt, I was putting so well that all I needed to do was just have the right, right speed on it. And as soon as I hit it, I knew it was going to go in. And I wanted the reason why I ran that way and threw my cap that way was because I knew my team was behind me. So, um, and I've watched it a lot of times. I, I still watch it sometimes. It, gi it gives me motivation. But the funny thing is, uh, PG Tour did like a five minute video thing on YouTube. They had the whole routine and everything. But what's funny is that after that video finishes, uh, Max goes and says, subscribe here and like here. And I always try to turn it off because I'm still kind of angry at me and losing to Max. But <laughs> Art, Ben. Mate, just, just on that enthusiasm that you brought to that event, 
you're like that anyway. So is that one of your greatest weapons, your ability to, to have that enthusiasm while you play golf? I always have that fire inside me, but I, I rarely, very rarely show it during just normal tournaments, right? But because of its match play and what, what you can do with that energy in those events is I felt like it was a perfect way for me to show something more of what I normally do because it just allows for it. Where, where does your confidence and exuberance come from? Just knowing that I put in the work, um, I think that's where a lot of it comes from and just having self-belief that under pressure, I'd rather have myself in that situation than watch because I've watched a lot and it's, you know, it's hard to watch and not do anything about it. So um, I would, you know, I would rather put myself in that situation. Okay, let's go to Brian. You mentioned Max and having to see him and turning it off. You got a big pairing coming up another couple days with him. What are your first thing that comes to your mind about Max? And is there a message you want to send to Max for the first two days? He's, he's really, really cool. Uh, he's an amazing person. And I've only, it was the first time I actually got to spend some time with him on that, eight, on that Sunday. But as much as I hate losing, you know, he played great on that final last stretch. So um, I'm, pretty, I'm still pretty pissed about it but in a good way, you know, he, I have so much respect for him and it's gonna be fun. Obviously I have my partner on uh, uh, playing with Max and my partner for the President's Cup, so it's gonna be a fun first two days. And what have you learned so far in your young career? You've had so many different experiences. What's the overriding message that you've learned? Wow, that's, that's a hard question. Um, I think Enjoy, like enjoying is the biggest thing because there's a lot of times where it gets a little difficult with travel and uh, going to places every week and sometimes maybe not having the perfect food or something like that but I enjoy a lot of a lot of things out here and I love golf and I love practicing so uh, I think enjoying it is probably the biggest lesson I've learned. All right, let's take a couple more. Let's go to Dave. Uh, you said uh, Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods have inspired you in the past, and how, in what way have they? Um, obviously with Tiger, his, the, with the way he's able to prove people wrong a lot, um, being hurt with a broken leg and winning the U.S. Open, so stuff like that is just not a lot of people do, and I think that's the separator with what he's done in his career. And I would love to get a chance to meet him, but um, he probably doesn't even know who I am, but um, uh, it's just stuff like that. I feel like you know he's changed the game, um, and he's the one of the main reasons why I wanted to play on the PJ Tour, and for sure a lot of guys. So with Michael Jordan, it's a different sport, but I feel like they have a very similar mentality, um, and they were the best at what they did for a very long period of time. So just picking those guys just gives me a nice mindset to have, and you know just keep me motivated, just not get not get too relaxed a little bit, you know, just because I'm on tour, you know, things might get, you know, they treat us so well here, so you might, you might not be humble enough, but it keeps me humble that these guys have achieved so much and they've always strived to get better, so just things like that. All right, let's go to Kayer. What's up, Tom? How's uh, it going? It's going well. <laughs> uh, after your win at the Wyndham, you were kind of on the map. After the President's Cup, you're a household name now. What's been the biggest change for you and what what difference do you feel coming into a week like this after President's Cup? I feel like nothing has really changed, but a lot of people have been like, uh, like telling me that, hey, you're such a star now, things like that, but I feel like, really, am I that big of a star? Like, I mean, I played the President's Cup, it's great, I've had one win, but it's, uh, you guys, got, you got guys like Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth, and those guys, so, uh, I still got a lot to do, but it's amazing how people are starting to recognize me, and it's it's a great feeling, and I and I really appreciate it. So it's been fun. All right, let's go back to Dave, and then we'll take the last one with Ben. I, I, players always have a lot of goals. What's your number one in 2023 or this season? Uh, I mean, to wrap it all up, I think it's just to have a better season than I had the previous year. Um, I had one win, so. It'd be great if I could win one more time this, you know, this season and 
every season going forward, right? Uh, at least the win is, is definitely up there. But I think for me, it's just gaining the experience and learning more about myself playing a full season on the PJ Tour. I know I'm going to learn a lot and uh, I'm going to play with a lot, you know, a lot of good players. So just stuff like that, just getting to know myself a little bit more and know what works for me and uh, things like that just get really, really excited. Off the back of what KK here said, like things have changed for you. You're much more well known. Are you learning the balance of juggling all of that? I mean, I'm always myself. I don't really. The situation hasn't really changed of who I am a little bit. Um, so, no, I don't really think it's really changed for me. And I, th I think it's going to be the same way. Tiger has 82 wins on the PJ Tour. Until I until I get to 83, it's it's going to be hard for me to. I think I'm a little different, so. This might be a tough one to answer, but if you could put odds on you winning a FedEx Cup, winning the FedEx Cup, what do you think they'd be? I'm not really good with odds, so. I mean, there's what? There's 156 players every week. 225 are probably in the FedEx Cup every season. Uh -huh. What what chance are you to be the top dog at the end? I, I think I'll just go with no comment to that. I'll keep, I'll keep that confidence to myself. All right, good. All right, Tom, thank you for your time. Best of luck this week. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.